Yeah, one of them away. Yeah. I was about to say, you can bring up the count with you. And your, uh, 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 your supervisor, ain't it? I actually disparaging you, because I actually meant to tell you something before we started about, uh, I, I'll tell you, I think. Uh, but, um, uh, call uh, Allah, Allah Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rachach Wadash. All right, that's who this world ignorantly and incorrectly calls God, Jesus Christ, and the Holy Spirit in the ancient Paleo Hebrew language. I right, just made sure the audio. Okay, here we go. All right. Yeah, that's who this world ignorantly and incorrectly calls God, Jesus Christ, and the Holy Spirit in the ancient Paleo-Hebrew language. Double honors to the elder apostles of Great Millstone, of whom we've learned this 100% truth, and who rules very well and oversees the tabernacle of David. Shout out to the head of the men of Israel camp, the Ak Kazak, whom we teach under here in Greenville, South Carolina. And a hearty and a healthy shalom to you, Akyam wa Agwathim, you brethren and sisters who are diligently and sincerely working out your faith in these last days with fear and trembling toward your salvation. All right, see so how we say shalom, shalom, and that's Hebrew for peace. This is the Ak Alaya. It's the Ak Yashima. All right, and we're here with, you know, just a, a quick, you know, testimony and lesson through the spirit power of Yahweh Shemi Al Shai. You know, and I'm going to let the brother uh, take off from now because really the Lord, you know, put this upon the brother's heart, you know? Yeah, so. You know, we was at the plantation or whatnot. This happened, the incident happened around, uh, uh, this incident happened around 4.30ish in the, in the damn morning, you know, the so-called morning, a.m. So, you know, I was on my little station or whatnot. It was me, two, two, well, one Jake, a Zion, and an Edomite. And, uh, you know, uh, I happened to look around the corner, you know, and I see two police officers or whatnot. But I had to use the bathroom too, so I asked uh, one of uh, the people that would be running, helping the station. I asked him, "Can I go to the bathroom?" He was like, "Yeah, man, go ahead." So when I had went to the bathroom, I saw the two officers coming in, and I and I heard my supervisor say, "Yeah, he got a black hat on, you know." But I didn't know who they was talking about, so I left out the bathroom, came back, and I happened to look around the corner again when I got back to my station. I see four more damn police officers come. So I'm like, damn, what the hell happened? So, you know, everybody confused with what happened. Well, the people around me was, cause we didn't know what the hell was going on. So, uh, uh, we saw, uh, I saw the, the uh, Jake girlfriend, uh, the, the, cause they called the police, somebody had called the police on, um, somebody had called the police on uh, this Zion uh, uh, boyfriend, cause they said something about, he was hitting her or they was getting in an argument if you, if you can the spirit just had me give give them fake names so you can keep the, the, yeah, the yeah, characters yeah. it don't make sense yeah i ain't even gonna say their names yeah i was just gonna say the dude girlfriend and whatnot. yeah that's what i'm yeah. saying just come up with something so yeah. they can follow <laughs> <laughs> right so uh you know we you know i'm I, so you know uh oh yeah they called uh so i know why they called the uh, police because the dude girlfriend had came up and i was like what's going on they were like, somebody called the uh, police on my boyfriend. So we like, damn, who the hell called? So, you know, uh, so uh, it, we was like, it, I was like, it's only two people that could have really caught. Well, I said really one. And then somebody said the other one. They tried to say a Zion called. They tried to say it was a, a, the Zion that called the police on her because she had went to the uh, supervisor office to talk to them when the police, the police was in there too. but. That was on a whole another situation because I was talking to this the girl that was beside me. She understood, she know why she was in the office. So that scratched off. So I was like, you know, I'm like, it wasn't her. You know what I'm saying? It couldn't have been her. God damn. Yeah, that's tough. Oh. Lord bringing judgment. You <laughs> <laughs> definitely is. Big kind of, but uh yeah, that threw me off. But uh, like I was saying, uh, you know, damn, what I left off on? Uh, you said something about a cousin, ain't you? Okay, yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. So, yeah, when she was in the office, they didn't know that that situation wasn't about that or why, you know, why they got the police called on them. So, you know, a couple minutes later, you know, uh, I'm like, hell no. I'm like, through the spirit, I'm like, no, it had to be my supervisor. My supervisor did it. I ain't gonna say his name. But it had to be my supervisor because he the one that had, he the one that had all the time to call. And the only reason they didn't know who did it was because, you know, uh, they called off a, a, a text now app, so that's what that's why they didn't know it was him. But
But I'm gonna tell you how you know it's solidified that it was him because uh, uh, when he had oh he had fucked up. Nah, what the fuck? Oh yeah. Okay, go ahead. Man. So you know, I'm like, I'm telling them, line, I'm like, they don't, they don't mess with him neither. It's like it's a couple on that line that don't mess with him because he he grimy like he's a real, you know, he's a coon J. You know, he he like to commit adultery with other brothers. You know, other dude, you know, ribs or whatnot. You know, so even though they two thirds, they damn so. But you know, he like he one of them type, and he try to do it behind your back. You know, because he did it. Uh, you know, he did it to another J uh, uh, girl because he had went out of town. And he was messing with the dude girlfriend, man. You know, he wasn't them type of niggas, man. Wicked so, yeah, well. wicked, man. So I'm like, it had to be him because, like I said, the situation happened at 430. So he, because we usually go on break at 310. We come back at 340. We get a 30-minute lunch. So we usually go on, we get back from break around 340. He went on, he usually go on break 20 minutes out of us. So he go around four. It would have been him or her that called the police because she went to the bathroom around that time too so that's why people was thinking it was her because she went to the bathroom but i'm gonna tell you why it wasn't her I'm, I'm, I'm i ain't gonna jump the gun right now but i'm like hell nah it had to be him that had called the damn police because he had oh shit, he had all the time to call man because you know he get a 30 minute lunch break as well and like i said the situation happened the police came around 4 30 he going break at four so he would have been he he's the only one that had time to actually download that app uh, and call, but like I said, remember, like I said, nobody knew uh, who the who the uh, who the person was because they called off a fake number. So uh, uh, we went on break again. We came back from break. The reason I knew it was him, it had to be him, because it was this old Edomite lady that talked. Uh, it was this old Edomite lady that talked with the dude they called. Uh, they called uh, the police on the boyfriend. She, this old Edomite talked to him and he told her that it wasn't a girl voice, it was a dude voice. So I'm like, damn. I'm giving praise to you how about she was shot because, you know, I'm happy he getting, you know, uh, the Lord possibly about to bring judgment on him. Lord willing, you how about this out? Because uh, I put a curse on that nigga literally two days before that shit happened. And mm. guess what? The Lord heard it. Because, mm. you know, he, he, Jay, he a coon. Like, I have my glasses off. He'd be like, I'm going to go tell Kelly on you. You know, and not only that, I, 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 when I prayed to the Lord about that situation, I, I said, Lord, there's two things I want you to do to him specifically. I like you can do anything you want, but it's two things I specifically want. And I, I was praying to Yahweh Bashiach was trying to reveal it. I was like, I either want this man to be in a car accident, or I, I, I or I want him, you know, to find out. I want, uh, I want dude to find out the one they got caught the police on. I want him to find out. That you know his girl, uh, that uh, the team lead been you know talking to his girl. So yep, yep. and guess what? The Lord about to have it revealed that he caught. If, if it does happen and they find out, Lord gonna have it revealed that he was the one that caught the police on him, and yep. that's gonna bring confrontation on, on on both of them, and he gonna want to fight him. You know, uh, put his hands on him. And I hope because the dude big as fuck, like he a buff ass dude. Yeah, yeah I seen him for yeah. the first time. I, today. And I showed Jake, and it was funny. I showed Jake, I'm like, yeah, this him and this is girl. Cause I've been telling Jake this was going on. Yeah, yeah. And it, it, it happened the same day on that. So, I so showed Jake who it was. Yeah. And, and, and I was like, Lord, I pray you have something happen to this man. I, it didn't matter what it was, but those two things I want the Lord, you know, have happen to him. And like I said, it's possible that it's gonna happen. And like me and the brother was talking, I told the brother, it's crazy the Lord, you know, had this happen so quickly. And I was like, you know, my Hebrew name is Yashima, which means he hears. And I'm like, man, Lord possibly heard my prayer, man. Yeah. I pray, you know, you know, Yahweh Bashiach Bashiach, you know, uh, give it that coon ass nigga, man. Cause that nigga been, you know, fucking with me the longest. I don't really, you know, go back and forth, but I just leave it alone. And, you know, you, I wasn't really praying. I mean, I wasn't praying that the Lord did nothing to him. But it got to a point I was getting sick of it. And I said, fuck it. I'm going to praise the Lord on it. Yep. And guess what happened? This nigga possibly, because they were like, if we find out who did it, they getting locked up. Yeah. I said, man, call like you. How about she on with Yeah, that's uh, like the brother saying. You know, even if this situation isn't isn't the situation where that brother's gonna get that man is gonna get judged, the Lord still has a judgment for that man. You know, and it was beautiful. It's like the brother going into all this played out. <laughs> you know, right after you threw up that curse, curse yeah. in the Hebrew, it, it wasn't no like you said in English. Lord just 
let him get in a car accident. I didn't no. say salakhrayim. <laughs> the brother, you know, we put a legitimate curse. Like the brother just said, shalakhrayim. That's Hebrew for what? Sin evil. La, which means two. Brent. I almost said it. Yeah, yeah, I ahead. almost said it, but his name started with a B. I already, I don't heard it now, but <laughs> I ain't say the whole thing. So, yeah. but it was just say black man. Yeah, that's black what you're talking man. about. Yeah, black man. Yeah. And Jake got dreads at that too. Yeah, that's the spirit of a black man, yeah. man, uh, committing adultery against his brother. You know, and like the brother just said, it's not even the first time. Yeah, this is this is that man's career apparently. You know? and, and see, people don't know how grimy he is really. Cause when I was, I was telling Zion, I was telling this other Zion, I'm like, bro, that ain't her. That girl crying, bro. Y'all got that girl in here crying, dude. And then the the, the uh, and see, when they called the police on the dude, it like, man, uh, when they called the police on the dude, uh, his girlfriend was like, man, I'm about to slap the shit out of that girl. I got that girl crying, you know, you don't know that, that girl kill herself or whatnot yeah you know what i'm saying because she probably scared for her life and i'm like bro that girl ain't do that yeah. shit, bro y'all yeah. really got that girl crying in there am i real over there trying to comfort yeah no nah, it don't make sense to you the spirit saying? for it to be the one yeah. it definitely don't that's some shit a grimy ass nigga would do because because when the brother i'm not gonna lie when you were telling me when you were telling me the story all right moments before we started the live stream uh it, it was evidently clear nah this is jake trying to get at that dude so he can get him out the way yeah he was, <laughs> and, and it was fun they, they, that's what they were saying they were like yeah because we peep that you know we peep he be, he want her you know what i'm saying we peep that and they, he got her number and all of that jake yeah he got her number and all of that so yeah. everybody was like yeah you is right you know what i'm saying they, he do be trying to get with her so he was basically trying to get i feel like he was trying to get jake locked up so you know he could really you Slide know what i'm saying in. and my, my it was funny my real was like my real, uh, the dude they they the dude they got called the police on. His real told my real, uh, damn. His real told my real, uh, uh, damn. Fuck, say you don't want to come out. Uh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. oh yeah, that's what it was. His real told my real that yeah they be texting. Uh, and, and my team lead, you know, he was basically telling her the dude girl. That he got feelings for or something like that you know that was what my real was telling me so come on man it made sense for it to be him and everybody was like yeah bro it gotta be him because he you know he grimy me like that. yeah but some people take it side because they like him too and they don't you know like i said they don't think that it's him because you know he uh uh, uh old girl went to the bathroom and this shit, so it make it seem like it was her and she got called into the office and shit like that. But that was for a different situation. Yeah, a, a carnal mind yeah. can't see that judgment is about to take place. Yeah. You know, a spiritual mind, which is what, you know, the brothers have, what we have through the Holy Spirit. We can discern judgment. We understand, you know, spiritually. Once again, like the brother's saying, he he's seen through the Spirit. He, he knew exactly who, who was the culprit, man. Even though the culprit hasn't officially been found yet. The brother knows being spiritual, looking at this man's action and his deeds, the brother knows judgment is at this man's door. You know? And I, and I got a quick preset. Uh, well, you, you got something real quick? Yeah, you know yeah. I, I, and, and another thing, too, they told us, uh, well, they didn't told us, but we all we all three seen it. When, when when the officers, when the police and shit left, like, probably like five minutes later, my team lead came down the aisle, and we was looking at him. We was trying to, you know, make it seem like we weren't looking at him. We was looking at him, Jay, his whole his whole demeanor changed, Jay. Like he was nervous. He was walking, he kinda of walking with his head down. And then like I said, I missed it. I left out this part right here. When we went on break, uh we was going on break, I don't go outside. So they told me uh after we left. So it was like, hey, look at that turn slow as hell. But yeah, uh <laughs> they want to turn. Right. <laughs> but uh they told me when I went outside, uh no, when they came back from outside, because I like I said, I don't really go outside like that. So they was like, uh, they was like, yeah, man, you know, usually he follow us when we go take our little smoke break, but he didn't follow us. He, he kept walking. Why is that? that and then they was like, yeah, that kind of, that kind of make it, you know, seem like it was him. They was like, yeah, it, not everybody thinking it's him. You, on a, you know, the certain people I talk to, they thinking it's him now. Yeah. Yeah, and you see certain people you don't talk to, you don't put them on game. Yeah, they like, boy, you might be right, boy. Right. You right, boy. <laughs> Yeah, and Israel, they no judgment coming. Wait, you got something else? Yeah, and then when we was leaving, out, me and the brother was leaving out the parking lot, I was talking to this other Zion that was by me on the last rotation. And she was like, she was like, I rolled out my window, I was like, I hope they get him. And she was like, 
She was like, just watch out. Just just look for tomorrow. Just listen uh, for tomorrow. And, but she wouldn't tell me. But you could tell through the spirit, like, she knew something was going to happen. Mm -hmm. But she was just like, just watch. Just just, yeah. just, just sit back and watch. Yeah. And listen. She and said, yeah, listen. and listen. Yeah. I was like, tell me, just tell me. You know, I wanted to know. So, I, you know, I already know. But she didn't want to tell me. So, I guess the Lord want me to wait. You and know, see, yeah, we're going to have to come back with a part two. Right, part two. <laughs> so. On the judgment. So, hey, man. How about the judgment, you know, get brought forth. And through the spirit, I got to grab this. This is uh, Leviticus chapter 20 and verse 10. It says, And the man that committeth adultery with another man's wife, even he that committeth adultery with his neighbor's wife, the adulterer and the adulteress, the, the adulteress, excuse me, shall surely be put to death. So there's a judgment coming for adulterers, man. You know, this is what the scripture, this is what the Bible makes known unto the Lord's servants, man, and the rest of the heathen. You know, in the kingdom, this is going to be the same standard that's enforced in the kingdom of heaven, man. You know, the same rules and regulations that are going to have to be a, 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 abided by, you know. Uh, th those who commit adultery shall be put to death. The one who commits adultery and and the adulteress, you know. And the scriptures go into more detail when you continue reading the rest of the chapter, the different situations where the, the results may vary, <laughs> but you know, the, for the, the nigger tree that we talking about, it's talking about a man who deliberately having sex with another man's wife. He knows it and she knows it too. You know, and if they if they came together and, and, and had sex, even if Jake got locked up for that phone, uh, phony phone call, even if Jake got locked up, locked up, if they committed adultery, they have judgment waiting for them, man, according to the scriptures. All right, now this is the, the precept that the brother uh, had pulled, I'll read it. Uh, Matthew chapter 12 and verse 36 says, But I say unto you that every idle word that men shall speak, they shall give account thereof in the day of judgment. Mm. Like you said, every idle word that men shall speak, they should give a, a account in the day of judgment. And what, what words he was speaking, he was basically fucking with me, you know, telling, going to the supervisor about little petty shit, man. You know, a little petty little shit that, I, you know, I ain't got my glasses on. Or he'll just fuck with me in general, you know, just, you know, he'll just do little childish ass shit like a little girl, man. You know what I'm saying? Go back and rant, and, you know, and talk shit. You, he'll talk about you behind your back. So one, like one time, you know, I used to go up to the bathroom and whatnot. He like, damn, you know, and, and what's funny is the Edomite might told me that he was talking shit. He was like, damn, he need a potty trainer, around, a potty, a potty wow. trainer, training, training around, around him or something. He always going to the bathroom. I don't go to the bathroom like right, that. Right, yeah, you know Jay talk yeah, shit. Yeah, he was just talking shit, being funny and shit. Talking about I need a potty train or some shit like that. And that's why Lord about to get ready to judge a little bitch at. That nigga got me so mad, bro. Yeah. Like, yeah, the other day, Jay, I was so mad. I was just talking wild. Like, man, I, boy, I hope the Lord just do something to this man, bro. And what's funny is I, I put a curse on this nigga a while back. And the Lord got this nigga to, to get the damn flu, man. God. So, that, I, like I said, man, I, I pray y'all about seeing him Jack his ass up this time, man. You know? God. Because apparently that wasn't enough. So yep. I, I pray y'all about see how much I get his ass out of there. Yeah, and it's going to happen. You know, on the Lord's timing, always, and yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah. But it's definitely going to happen. It's, it's not that when we do we show obedience and we pray to him as he, he actually shows up for our request, man. And the Lord is showing this brother this. Man, that's just the Lord flexing his power, man. Like I told you, when you're obedient, I told you, I'm going to show you every time, you know. Oh, uh, that reminded me too. I, I don't want to, you know, go too in depth into it, but land back in on the same brothers, like in the same vein that this brother's testimony is. Uh, I had a, a, a similar but different uh, situation myself with, with not a, a team lead, but he was like an area lead, you know, the people that might, might be over your general team lead. And basically, he's an Edomite, unlike the brother's story. This one was, was an Edomite, man. And, you know, it's just little slight things. I don't really allow things to, you know, Fuck with me mentally or emotionally, you know, as men, we are already not, you know, on that level. But especially from Edomites, I, I try to ask the Lord to give me a little bit more grace and leeway because I already know, you know, we in captivity. It's not the wisest thing to respond carnally. So, you know, I try to ask the Lord to give me more grace towards these Edomites, you know. Uh, but this particular Edomite himself, man, uh, he, he found himself saying slight, you know, and I can't even lie. Some of his slights were funny, you know. I'm like, okay, yeah, you got me with that, you know, because uh, he, he might uh, fuck around and call me Sid, and I'm like, all right, oh, you know, shit. yeah, I'm like, okay, <laughs> you know, I, you know, you gonna talk your shit, and I, I'll talk my shit back too, but that's not really what I'm talking about. He he he'll do things 
to where he knows this shit get on his nerves, this shit piss him off, or this shit annoy him to the point where he might want to quit. You know, that's that's really what, where I've I've limited to or what I've understood. So it came uh, one time, and this was a couple months ago, uh, a little late last year, but uh, he found himself doing something to me, and, and the Lord struck it into my heart to where I was like, you know what, I'm about to send a curse up on his ass, man. And uh, I threw up the curse. Um, and the very next day, literally not even 24 hours when I came back in for work, well, I guess, you know, that would be 24 hours, but the very next day when I came into work, he was not there. And I was, you know, obviously that, that, that popped up into my mind, like, oh, you know, he's normally here every day. He's the area lead. You got to make sure everything's up and running smooth, but he wasn't there the next day. And I'm thinking like, I acknowledged it. I didn't really think too much of it, you know, but the next day came and he still wasn't there. So I'm thinking like, oh, hold on now. What, what really, you know, what really is going on? Did the Lord, you know, do something? Is he all right? And then I, I believe the third day or the fourth day, because it might have been a weekend that passed or something. Either way, the, the, the day after that, after the second day, he came in, but he looked kind of down and beat up, like all distraught. And, and the Lord put on my spirit to ask him, like, hey, you know, you all right, man? Uh, and he ended up telling me, he was like, no, man, I'm not all right. He said the other day, the reason I wasn't here, I had to rush my son to the emergency room. Jay, he had to rush his son to the emergency room. And I don't remember exactly what, what he said the issue was, what the problem was, but he had to rush him to the emergency room and they spent all day and the next day in the emergency room getting getting you know work done on him or whatever what the problem was. And as soon as I heard that in my mind, you know, I'm trying to act like I'm considering. It's that, it's that bullshit, man. man he, you saw you don't hate when this word is getting out, man. You know, uh, <laughs> he hears, man. Yashamai, you know, the Heavenly Father, even when you know the request I make towards him when we pray before him, reverence, man, the Lord hears us, man, and he hearkens unto our prayers with the intent on accomplishing whatever it is that we, you know, we sought to him for. As the Lord Yahweh Shai told us, you know, basically when we do the things that are pleasing unto him, anything that we ask, we shall receive, man. You know, uh, I got this quick preset. Did you have something? Yeah, uh, Millstone. Okay, yep, yep, yep. All right. But yeah, the only way they're gonna, the only way they're gonna find out, uh, and they get them is if they get a voice. If they, if they go to the, the police, uh, don't, that's the only way they'll get them is that the, uh, whoever, uh, 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 what's, what's the people call them? The uh, operators? Yeah, on the phone, phone and shit. Yeah, yeah. They would have, they, the police would have to go to them and ask, well, when y'all, when y'all answer that call, was it a boy or a girl? That's what they're going to have to do in order to get them. Because they don't, like I said, it was a fake number that they used, so they would have to, uh, get a, get a recording of that voice call and go around and ask, do y'all know who voice this is? Or, you know, they'll go to the supervisor and they'll, they'll go to the supervisor, which our supervisor is a girl, so they would go to her and be like, do you recognize this voice? Because like I said, it was a boy voice, but they don't they, they don't know that the dude who got called, the police, I guess the police told him that it was a dude. Because I guess he was trying to figure out who called and he was trying to ask, was it a boy or girl that did it? So they're gonna have to get a voice for or that uh, call if they want to get them because they don't know who did it that's why they didn't arrest nobody right right but that judgment's still coming yeah. regardless man you know we're, even if it ain't the police <laughs> the lord has jacob trouble set up to we out and to destroy all the wicked israelites man and, and i say wicked as in those who are deliberately rebelling against yahweh bashim yahweh shai and works and in thoughts and even in their words right as the brother uh, just called for i'm gonna grab it uh mark chapter 9 and verse 42 it's also in luke chapter 17 and verse 2 but this is mark 9 and 42 and whosoever shall offend one of these little ones that believe in me it is better for him that a millstone were hanged about his neck and he were cast into the sea read that one more time baba kashan baba kashan <laughs> Mark chapter 9 and verse 42. And whosoever shall offend one of these little ones. Whosoever offend one of these little ones. Who's the little ones? The whole for a lick, man. Yeah. You know? Like I said, and, and how did he offend me? By basically threatening 
you know, to go to the damn supervisor on me about some small little incident about me not having my glasses on. Or sometimes he'll fuck with my real too. He'll be putting her on the hardest jobs for, for a long period of time. Like, cause we got this one long ass rotation. It's the third rotation. And he'll use it, you know, I, I'd be like, you know, if he puts you on it, you know, I'll do it for you. Cause we work on the same line. So I'll, I'll do it for you. But you know, she don't know how to do it. If I do doing enough, if I do, uh, if she is on that job, I might be on the job that she don't know how to do. That's not easy for her, so I won't be able to do it. So he'll, he'll fuck with her too, you know, but, and then he'll say little sh slick ass shit, like I said, out his mouth. And like the scripture say, they that offend one of my little ones, Rick, you can finish it off. It says that whosoever shall offend one of these little ones that believe in me. Right, we a believer. It is better for him that a millstone were hanged about his neck. And he were cast into the sea. So the Lord said it was better for a millstone to be hung right here. Do you know what a millstone is, man? You, know, you, need to, you can pull up a picture of a millstone? Yeah. A millstone is something big. And the Lord said it was better for you to cast that around your neck and for you to jump into a sea, man. Yeah. <laughs> so, AKA certain death. <laughs> right. You basically committing suicide. You committing suicide or uh, you basically suffocating yourself. A mill, that's how big a millstone. The Lord said, carry that around your neck. Look at this one. And jump in the With sea. With the size man. of a car. Man. Yeah, that's tough. So it was better for you to hang a millstone around your neck, man. For you to offend one of your how about Shia Because that's right. Guess what? Yah about Shia Shah prophets. He's dealing with those prophets, man. You, we basically got the spirit of we got the spirit of Yahweh Shah on us. So it's basically like you fucking with his son. If you fucking with us, man. You know. And guess what? Yah about Shia is gonna be very angry if you fucking with him. Fucking with one of his prophets, man. Yep. And they go back and they cry and complain to y'all about Shiam Shah. Just like, for example, his blood was crying out to y'all about Shiam Shah. Yep. Same with us. We, we crying out to y'all about Shiam Shah to bring judgment. Yep. You know, you know the, the, pretty much to have our backs. And guess what? He hears. He hears. He heard it. <laughs> the Lord is hearing, man. And the, the Lord, man, once again, we understand what times we're living in. Babylon the Great, aka America, is set up for judgment to go forth, man. It's not because the Lord forgot to judge. The Lord literally made sure America was formed and that you niggas was here and that y'all, you know, didn't give a fuck about him. So that way he would be justified in bringing these harsh judgments that y'all are about to see. You know, getting locked up, that's gonna seem like a, a slap on the wrist compared to the judgments we about to see spring forth, man. Like the one we just read, a millstone about your neck and cast into the sea, certain death, man. And in and, and, and ways you can't even imagine. Me and the brother uh, Yashima on the way to work last night, you know, or this morning, technically, uh, we were watching uh, the beloved elder apostle, um, Raka, yeah, his, his video entitled, uh, there's some bad things coming or some bad things are gonna happen, loosely paraphrasing, you know, but it was a response to elder apostle Tahar's live stream that he was doing uh, about a guy that got stuck in his damn Tesla yeah, yeah, yeah. and his friends trying to break him out of it But the door is locked everything jammed the airbag in the way and the fires the, the flames just heaping up man And the man in the car screaming ah, You know burning alive man in front of his friends, you know in front of his people, you know, whatever You know the Lord had that judgment set up for that man. Ain't no telling what he was doing scoffing the prophets uh, uh, Offending one of his little ones and don't tell him what he was doing, man. But the Lord brought judgment and he's righteous in doing so. And this is the power that we serve. This is the power that we come to you to, to preach the truth unto you, you know, through Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, aka Allah Shadia, that terrible demon like power, you know, a power to be feared and revered, you know, and, and, and obeyed, man. You know, and he's going to show you that in these last days, man. It's, it's not going it, to, it's only just beginning, man. Yeah. This is only just the beginning of Jacob's trouble. So uh, I had this too I wanted to grab. Proverbs chapter 15 and verse 29. It says, The Lord is far from the wicked, but he heareth the prayer of the righteous. Mm -hmm. Right? <laughs> so clearly the Lord hears the prayers of the righteous, man. Those who are doing what pleases him. You know, rehearsing the righteous acts. You know, making their bodies a living sacrifice. Day in and day out, exhorting and preaching and teaching the name of Yahweh Bashim al Shai, the gospel, the spirit of truth. Right? The Lord says he hears the prayers of the righteous. So when we complain to the Lord, when we sigh and we cry out to him and complain because of the vexation of our spirit and the various things that we have to suffer, the Lord hears it, man. The scriptures talk about how the Lord delights 
and and, and the and well instead of butchering them, I'm, I'm gonna grab it real quick. All right, Proverbs chapter fifteen and verse eight. The Wadi Al Bashim Yon Shaf allowed me to find this precept. <laughs> Proverbs fifteen and eight says, "The sacrifice of the wicked is an abomination to the Lord, but the prayer of the upright is His delight." So, so when you're upright, the Lord delights in you. You know, the Lord takes pleasure in that because the things that you're doing is a sweet savor unto Him. He, he you know, it pleases Him. So the Lord is gonna obviously, if you're in league with Him, He's gonna be in league with you. You fight for Him, He's gonna fight for you. You know, we, we out here, you know, once again, suffering for the ministry, when we when we tell the Lord, that, hey, how this is fucking with us, how this is bothering us, how this may hinder us or vex us, when we come to him, he has the ability and the power to take that away from us. And when we pray for judgment and for destruction, he has the power to execute those things, man, even farther beyond what you could have planned. Because like the brother said, all he said personally was, you know, you know, can you get a, in a car accident or, or yeah. get, get exposed of his own wickedness? You know, and then for my, my prayer, I just asked the Lord just to bring destruction. I really wasn't specific, but he he brought destruction, man. No telling what the Lord did to his son. And I believe that wasn't even all that he's going to do to that man. You know, I believe the Lord might, if I be a part of that number, the Lord might allow me to have him on my plantation, man. You know, because really that, that Edomite vexes the hell out of me. And he's not the only one, obviously, but him. Like the Lord, that's one of the ones the Lord got me getting vexed through now, you know, currently. So I, I, I have every, you know, bit of confidence towards the Lord that all these things that these people do to us, that fucks with us, that, that we, we don't forget, that we hold not out of, you know, bitterness, but that we hold out of, you know, trusting that the Lord is going to make good on that. Hey, man, the Lord is. He's promised it to us, man. That's our whole faith to be delivered from the hands of our enemies and surrender unto them double what we have received by their hands. You know, this is our faith, you know. That's all I had though. What you had? You had something else, brother? Uh, yeah, Psalms 105 and 15. Okay. This is the book of Psalms, chapter 105, and verse 15. And it reads, saying, uh, Touch not mine anointed, and do my prophets no harm. That's right. If you touch the prophets or uh, cause them harm by words, physical, anything, hey, Yahweh Bashan was shot gonna jack you up, man. You know, right. so don't put your hands on the prophets and don't talk shit about the prophets. Yep. Cause you talk shit about the prophets, like I said earlier, that's like you talking shit about Yahweh Shah. Yep. Cause like I said, we coming in the spirit of Yahweh Shah, man. So you know the father angry, man. Yep. You know you touching his man. You know Yahweh the one who gave Yahweh Shah. You know the elect, man. Mm -hmm. So it all goes back to Yahweh at the end of the day. So, and guess what? Yahweh Bashi Yahweh Shah gonna get with all you two third niggas that, that's touching the prophets and that's touching, you know. Uh, well, that touches only begotten son, you know, back in the ancient days, you know, those Romans, and as well as our people as well. They're gonna be, I, I pray, he, I, I hope he was one of the ones that had touched y'all. Wish I so y'all wish I could even jack him up even fucking more, even more. you know. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised, you know, but hey, it is what it is, you know. Y'all about she on shot still gonna execute judgment on that, nigga, man. Kind, yeah, and like you even said, that the, the elect are connected to y'all. Wish I, y'all wish I said, look, those that hated you. Those that hate you, they hate you because they hated me. You know, so we understand why we suffer, man. Yeah, yeah, our Lord had to suffer the same as that way. We no different, you know. But yeah, I didn't have, I didn't have nothing else on. Yeah, that ain't had nothing. All right, well, you know, with that, you know, we we pray y'all by Shemuel and Shai. Brought to Zah, Lord willing, this was edifying to the sincere, hopeful elect of the nation of Israel. Uh, you know, with that, we'll face the east and give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rakak Wadash, Wa Abba Baba, Death to the Wicked. You know, double honors to the other apostles, a great millstone, of whom we learn this 100% truth, who rules very well and oversees the tabernacle of David. Shout out to the head of the men of Israel camp, uh, whom we teach under here in Greenville, South Carolina, and a hearty and healthy Shalom once again to you, Achyam, Wa Akwathim, brethren and sisters, who are diligently and sincerely working out your faith in these last days with fear and trembling towards your salvation. All right, see y'all next time we say Shalom. Shalom.